edge. It's a word that's all over the place in meaning and usage. This year, the Chiefs have adopted the word edge as their season battle cry. When I asked Andy Reid what he does for the longtime veterans, a guy like Travis Kelsey, he said, I have to find Travis an edge to give a veteran an advantage to help him succeed. It comes back to that want to win and the desire that it takes to get through 17 games with a certain edge to push yourself through. You can dislike the Chiefs. You can disrespect the Chiefs. You can doubt the Chiefs, but you're going to have to deal with the Chiefs, a team looking for an edge. What's that? And there's a certain attitude and mindset that you've got to have. Touchdown, Kansas City! You've got to be reminded of that every week. So every time the guys look at the wall, they're going to be reminded of that. It's a try intercepted 100 yard pick six! If you pull off on that, you get complacent in a lick, now you're going to get kicked in the tail. I mean, that's how this league is. It was just too much parity within the league and you really got to stay, stay on top of your game. We don't relax at all, you know what I mean? There's no relax at all. We stay on it. All right, stay on it. Always, always. That's a Super Bowl caliber team with a Super Bowl caliber coach and playmakers all over the lot. Go on! Go on! They've won every manner of football games. I know it sounds like we're just trying to like paint rosy okay. fiction, but I would have taken four and two through six games. The 49ers, if they're a healthy football team, they're made to, to beat the Chiefs. Welcome to Santa Clara, a raucous crowd that wants to get revenge for the Super Bowl 54 Chiefs victory. Booty all day. I want to hear it. Six twenty-nine to go in the first quarter. San Francisco 10, the Chiefs nothing. This Niners defense reminds me of the Bucks, reminds me of the old Ravens, the Steelers. They have an identity. They show up to the park ready to dominate. We get right back on this. Hey, we keep learning, right? We learning, right? Next play, next play, next play. All right, Dan, in time for the Chiefs here to answer the call. All we got to do is do our part. A whole lot of game left. Mario, let's go, boy. Let's go. Let's Come go. on. Mahomes wants to throw. Flares it out in the flat. Caught Kelsey. 45 across midfield. Hurdles a defender. And across the 40 of the 49ers and up the right sideline. First and goal. Little flip. Hartman looking for a block. Gets it. McCall Hartman is in. There's not a better red zone team in the NFL. They just have so many ways that they make you defend the entire field. They're so hard to stop down here in the red zone. Well, this is an aspect of the offense. This shows his growth, his maturity. When you look at McCall Hardman, listed at 5'10", 187, but he's making big catches and big moments. I told you, we get inside that five. They run that sweet, I'm gonna score. Pacheco stays in as a right halfback. They fire on a slant. Tough catch made by Juju Smith-Schuster. Really starting to come on these last couple weeks. I want the crowd go. I want to hear the boo. Handoff goes to the right side on a jet sweep. McCall Hardman, 15 inside the 10. Breaks a tackle, stays in bounds, and hops into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. It is a jet sweep of 25 yards. You see us fighting. Turn that shit up. Turn it up. Steve Spagnola, this Chiefs defensive coordinator, he's starting to dial up a lot of pressures. They haven't gotten home, but they've gotten some hits on Garoppolo here in these last couple plays. In the pocket, pump faking it. He's going to be sacked. Sacked back at the 36 yard line. Great pressure. Chris Jones will get the sack. That's what I'm talking about, not five. He splits, and he's going to get lit up by Willie Gay Jr. Welcome back, Willie Gay Jr., the missile launch. We have to jostle Jimmy G. He's been sacked seven times this year. He's thrown three interceptions. Hey, good eyes, communicate. No mess ups. We can't mess up. He takes it. Here comes a blitz. Garoppolo throwing left, and the pass is going to be intercepted. Picked off in the end zone. Terrific play. And give it to Joshua Williams, his first National Football League interception. Who is that on the pit? Which one? Great job, young fella. Great job. Man. 
And Justin Fury. Look, we, we were hoping this would be a great game. It's been a great game. Chiefs with their number one offense against the Niners and their number one defense. But one thing that sticks out, they haven't gotten any pressure on Patrick Mahomes. It's now a right side off tackle run. Edwards in our 10. It's on the five. Right front pylon. Touchdown. Kansas City. A 16-yard slash that surprised the 49ers as the Chiefs ran right by Nick Bosa for the touchdown. Yeah. I'm got it, huh? I'm got it, baby. They so worried about us. They so worried about us. Hey, great read, great read. Let's go, bro. Hey, wait a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Great job. Great job. Let's do it again. Third and 20, Chiefs at the San Francisco 38. Snap, they're going to run a screen to McKinnon. McKinnon 35, gets a block 30. 25, cuts left, 20, 15, angling inside the 10, all the way down to the San Francisco three-yard line. Play action fake, Mahomes grips the ball, fires it late, caught in the back of the end zone, touchdown, Kansas City! Well, using the aggressive nature of the San Francisco Niners defense against them on two consecutive plays. Let's go, D, man, set the tone, man, set the tone, baby, let's tackle, let's tackle, let's tackle. Steve Spagnuolo has brought some pressure, he's brought some different looks here in the second half, and just nowhere for Garoppolo to go with the ball. Throw is incomplete intended for George Kittle. Wait, what? Third and long coming up. Mahomes going deep, has a man, bound and Skidley makes the catch! Inside the 30! Leading 28-23. They're gonna bring it on another jet sweep, this worked earlier, it's gonna work again! McCall Hardman had a jet sweep touchdown earlier. He gets another jet sweep touchdown. Niners are four of nine, interestingly enough, on third down. Third and nine from their own six. Garoppolo from his own end zone. Big chase, hit in the end zone, and down he goes. A safety for the Kansas City Chiefs. Safety, two points, Kansas City. Frank Clark over the last two weeks, to me, has shown a different kind of burst off the line of scrimmage. We saw it last week against Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills, and he's just coupling that again this week. Five, five! My mother... Yo! That's what I'm talking about! Frank Clark coming alive over these last couple of weeks. Defense capitalizing on miscues and mistakes. Turnovers being had key stops, forcing field goals instead of touchdowns. I think this was a complete game offense, defense, special teams, and a great way to go into the bye. The Patrick Mahomes, the one and only. You can't stop him, baby. How about that? Woo! Come on, man. How about that game? Next week, come back locked in. Same energy, yes, baby. Chiefs on three, one, two, three. Chiefs. Same energy let's all go. year. Let's go. Let's go. At some point. We have seen seven weeks of the Chiefs, and they got a bye week, and the trade deadline is next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. The last chance for the Chiefs to get better in this capacity is in the next eight days. The Chiefs are in the business of trying to field the best football team possible. And to me, you have to be able to investigate all avenues and you got to be willing to look over every situation. Is there a player, is there a move that makes sense, that moves the needle, that on the other side of it, that I would say doesn't compromise their draft strategy moving forward, and a player that you think is realistic and can move the needle? We have some breaking Chiefs news coming back from break here. Jordan Schultz reporting the Chiefs have traded for Giants wide receiver Kadarius Toney. This is a guy that was mentioned in Kansas City in the offseason, back to April or May or so yeah. as a possible trade candidate. The Giants were shopping him then. Kadarius Toney, he's only 23 years old. 20th overall pick in 2021. Brett's kind of had his eye on him for, for a while, and I know he and the Giants had, had been talking for probably the last couple of years, it seemed like. He seems like he's in a good place, and 
We welcome him in. I mean, we've got a good receiving core that he can jump in with, a good quarterback, good offensive line, so he's a nice addition. What's going on? <laughs> Not much. You know, look, just look, get acclimated to the new home. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get spread on, man. Flag, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go down there now. <laughs> Good, you have a safe trip in? Yes, sir. Everything easy? Yeah, yes, sir, everything was good. Good, all right, man. Well, I'm up here in the mountains, so I'm, but I'll see you when I get back. Yes, sir. Um, I told him you're probably up there drawing plays already. What? Yeah, we got we got some good stuff. You know. Well, I was like, I need that. Whatever you're drawing, I need it on my phone or whatever. <laughs> I need it. We'll find out exactly where he's at and what he can do within the offense. But I know he, he sure was dynamic in college. And then, you know, when he was healthy and had opportunities to play with the Giants, he, he likewise did some dynamic things. So we welcome that part in. He really does a lot of the same things that we do in our offense. The opportunity to get him felt like a steal. He's 23 years old. They loved him coming out of the draft. That's another thing. Kansas City wasn't going to draft him in the first round, but they felt like he was a first round type of talent. Really feel ecstatic right now. I don't know. It's just like, it's just too much behind it right now. Like, too much behind the number, too much behind the team. Like, it just, I, I just, I'm just ready to really take off do what I got to do right now. Like, 19 really mean a lot to me. My, uh, my partner that died like shortly after high school, well, he got in an accident. You know what I'm saying? He didn't make it, but 19 really to signify him. I'm always remember for my life. You know, I'm always, you know what I'm saying, be thankful for New York and the opportunity, of, you know what I'm saying, what was offered. You know what I'm saying? I <sighs> Just ready for a new start right now. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Just ready for a new start. Like halfway through the season, you just kind of get like a reset break. It makes it like really nice to just kind of like take a break in the middle of the season, kind of relax, refocus on like your mental health and kind of what makes you chill. And then for me, I just feel like it's great because you're playing football like each and every day. Your body starts to hurt a little bit like as you're just playing each week and you finally get that week to like reset, to freshen your body up, to take on like that second half of the season. Coach Reed actually gives us like the full week off and we were planning to like get out of here. Honestly, we went to get somewhere that had like warm weather. We actually took the chance to go to Cabo and then we flew to Savannah, Georgia where some things happened. When we were in Cabo, the ring was in my book bag but I was protecting our book bag so much like I would go to the bathroom and I would like move the book bag over into a corner where I could see it. And her family was there and my friends and her friends were there as well. And they were staying probably like two hotels down. And that was like the most stressful thing I think I've ever had to deal with because I had to get their location and she wanted to get out places and I wanted to get out places and her family and friends wanted to get out places. So the whole time that we were out, I was stressed out because I was just so scared that we were going to like run into her, her family and friends. For some reason when like I grabbed her hand to propose, like I, like I blacked out. Like I don't know what I said or anything, but I just blacked out. It felt like an out of body experience and I was just so excited and then like all of our friends like ran out and we were just really like surrounded by a lot of people that supported us and really really wanted this to happen for us and they were just so excited so it was awesome to like share that with them so my best friend at the time was dating his cousin um and she was like let's go to our high school basketball game i have some people i really want you to meet and then Juan and I really didn't like speak to each other at all. Like I don't even think we said hi to each other. And then Juan slid in my DMs on Twitter um, the following week and asked me if I was going to his high school basketball game. And that's how it happened. And then the that's rest. That's how we're here. That's how we're here. This appears to be a serious injury to Juan Thornhill. Well, and you hate to see this because he's so very important for so many different reasons. He's had an incredible rookie season. That was like one of my darkest times, honestly. It was hard to 
get through that mentally. And... Juan has went through a lot since we've kind of been on this journey, and I think it's helped him become stronger. We gotta dig deep! Hey, we gotta dig deep, no! It's on us. We gotta dig deep, it's on us! Mentally, emotionally, I think he's faced a lot of challenges. And I think it's just really helped him become a better person. Oh, God. <laughs> this Sunday on NBC and football night in America. We've got a big one right now. The two seed and the three seed in the AFC, the five and two Tennessee Titans taking on the five and two Kansas City Chiefs. Earlier games, we get breakfast together and then we kind of get to hang out and just like relax because there's a lot of game day anxiety. And then we get to ride together. It's fun. I'm excited just to see us continue to grow. I mean, obviously, your, your big goal is always to get to the Super Bowl, but we're just trying to uh, step up each and every week, play really hard, and hopefully we get to where we want to be. We are so excited to celebrate all of our legends tonight, especially to honor the latest Chiefs Hall of Fame inductee, Kimball Anders. Kimball Anders played his entire 10-year career with the Chiefs. Kimball was the perfect fit for a fullback in Marty Ball. And they pitch it on the right side to Kimball Anders inside the five, leap for the end zone, touchdown! He played 125 games in a Chiefs uniform. He had over 5,000 yards from scrimmage. His 2,829 receiving yards are the most by any running back in team history. And he breaks into the open field. He's at the 20. And angles to the right side all the way across the field. 10, 5. Touchdown for Kimball Anders on a 55-yard screen pass. Please join me in welcoming the 51st member of the Kansas City Chiefs Hall of Fame, Kimball Anders. Throughout my life, I've been so blessed to have people who welcomed me into their lives and treated me like family. Come on, baby, we gotta get in there. Let's go. The family of the Kansas City Chiefs, in my opinion, one of the greatest organizations out there, not to mention the greatest fans on earth. Being in, a, in this arena of playing sports is really more about brotherhood, and we do believe in that. And that's one of the biggest things that I miss the most about football, is being in, the, in that locker room and, and, and fellowship and then being in brotherhood with, with the players. I'm truly grateful that I had this opportunity to, to be inducted in the Chiefs Hall of Fame. Other than that, I think I'm done, I believe. Your newest Chiefs Hall of Fame member, Kimball Anders. Okay, I'm not going to be flippant about headaches. However, to make a point, bear with me. There are football versions of headaches. And tonight's Sunday night football matchup between the Chiefs and Titans accentuates that. The Titans have been a headache for head coach Andy Reid. The Chiefs head coach has a one and eight regular season record with the headache that is the Tennessee Titans. We're gonna face adversity. We're gonna face it. That's the part of it, man. It's up and down. It's up and down, but as long as we together, we're gonna dominate. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. So tonight, who avoids the headache and breaks the jam of two five and two teams? Hey, 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 I love the energy. I love the energy. All game long. Take a picture really quick. Oh, no bomb. 
congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Wait, Juan, come back. We have to get one actually without Coach Merritt. City will get the ball to start the game. Kelsey walks out to a slot left, trips this way on second down and eight. Quick pass, Kelsey. Bridge made 35, first down. Yeah, Let's go! Asserting who's the more physical team would be a little bit of the theme we thought was going to happen tonight. Mahomes looks short side, he'll run it. Trying to get to the outside and is pulled down from behind. He's got a first down and about the same point of the field. He had the amazing scramble for a touchdown in the AFC Championship game against Tennessee. On first down, Mahomes catches his wide open. He's got a partner. Head over heels for a gain of 23 for the 44. McKinnon in at running back, chips on the rush on the outside. Long pass near side, Watson coming back to the ball and hauls it in on the near sideline. Justin Watson! The line of scrimmage between the seven and the eight. Quick snap, they throw it right flat. Hartman in the backfield. Jitterbuck moves, stretches out near front pylon. Touchdown, Kansas City! Just a plant of that right foot, then he gets north-south to the end zone. The Chiefs get the touchdown and lead by two possessions here early in the second quarter. It's third and short, and Henry comes back in. Let's go! They're going to direct snap it to Henry. Goes on the right side, lunging for the end zone. It's a touchdown for Tennessee. Nine to seven, Kansas City. The Chiefs have third and 20. Here's the pressure coming on Mahomes. He throws underneath and is caught by McKinnon, but it's a long journey and nowhere close. And the Chiefs will punt it away. Yeah, I mean, basically the statement that I think Tennessee is making that this is not going to be a first or second round knockout. We're going 15 rounds here this evening. Now Tennessee, which just drove 74 yards for a touchdown. Running back, Derrick Henry. Henry goes off guard right into the secondary and across the 40-yard line, 45 in Chiefs territory at the 40. Henry inside the 30, all the way to the 23-yard line. As good as it gets, Derrick Henry. Football at the one. Henry tries the left side, touchdown. And there comes Derrick Henry. He wears you down over time. And this offensive line is beginning to feel it. Bear down, bear down, bear down, bear down. Third and one. Mahomes is flanked. And a five wide set. She shall throw it on third and one. Mahomes in trouble. And he is going to be sacked. 44 yards. Hey! Sack! Hey! Oh, man. This has been one interesting football game. Yeah. And believe me, it's going to get better than this in the second half. But the old line is styles make fights. And Tennessee got to its style of ball. And this has become a fight. Defense is starting it off. Got you, coach. Chiefs have to kick it off to start the third quarter. Titans won the toss and deferred. Chiefs had a nine to nothing lead. And then Tennessee just took over in the second quarter. And they have scored 14 and answered points. Third down and eight. Malik Willis, they hand it off on a draw play. It goes to Hilliard, and he is knocked down two yards short of the first down at the 23. I think regardless of the outcome of this game, the Chiefs will remember this as a good game for them come playoff time. Why? Because it feels like playoff football. Here's what I'm saying, okay? Guys, you guys have had two hell of a stop. It's going to take at least four more stops for us. Everybody follow me on that, all right? They fake it now, roll left out of the pistol. Malik Willis wants to run it. Chiefs close him down. At the 33, he gains just two yards. Third and 14. Now they're going to throw a screen to Hilliard on the near side. The Chiefs slow him down and hit him at the 35. 
I'm also going to give some love to Steve Spagnuolo. How he's made, been able to affect this defense in the second half is a lot more discipline being displayed. And now the Chiefs have third and 15. Hard count by Mahomes. Unloads it, comes to the near side. Hardman and the ball ricocheting oh. off his shoulder pad. Chiefs who get the stop now have to punt the football. And Tommy Townsend coming out to punt again. Hey, good ball. The conversation continues between the Titans front and the Chiefs offensive line. times before where the Chiefs on offense just can't get it going, right? Well, they're going to have one more quarter to figure this out. Pitch, you see how the defensive line, it's almost like synchronized swimming. When they're able to stop the run, every movement is at the line of scrimmage or in the backfield. That's exactly how you affect a dangerous run game and a running back like that. Third and four, empty backfield. Willis puts it up top for the tight end. Austin Hooper incomplete. Trent McDuffie is back in the lineup. The first round pick out of Washington. I see his eyes light up. Oh, like he threw that. And the Chiefs now have third down and nine from number one defense in the league on third down, or Tennessee. Oh, he's got time here. He'll go all the way down field for Sky Moore. Two DBs there, and nearly intercepted. The Chiefs are a quick three and out. Ball pass intended for Sky Moore. The Chiefs are searching here. That is seven consecutive possessions with no points. Great field position here for the Titans. Leading 17 to nine. Still just the one possession, eight point lead, but Tennessee trying to change that with 12.55 to go in the game. Henry gets it. Gains just one yard. He gets up to the 38 of Kansas City. Gay says enough is enough. Second and nine. Willis throwing on the right side. Of and Willis throws sideline, and it is juggled and incomplete. And well played by Sneed. Third down, nine. Willis retreats. They want to run a screen. Near side. Ooh. Nick Bolton blows it up. There we go. There we go. Nick Bolton was reading it all the way. It'll be a loss to the 42-yard line, a loss of four. What a play. I love watching Nick Bolton play. I just really do. He is the type of personality that is perfect for a middle linebacker. He saw that all the way, and why not? But that four yards might have made Mike Rabel's decision for him. Ryan Stonehouse to punt. We do that. We do that. We do that. And now the Chiefs offense, can they get it revved up as the Chiefs defense forcing a third straight punt by Tennessee. Mahomes in trouble. He'll be brought down again. The fourth sack of Mahomes tonight. This is third and 17. Now the Chiefs face third and long again. Third and 17 from their own 31, trailing 17 to 9. Trying to stay alive, scrambling to his right. He's going to run it 35 across the 40. Mahomes 45 at midfield. First down, trying to get a block, but he's all the way up. And a gain of 19 yards on third and 17. You might as well strike up the band because this is where all the magic happens. This is Mahomes at his best, and that was a backbreaker for Tennessee. Now they're going to have to regroup. They're just trying to get to the end zone and try to get this game turned. Mahomes stepping up. He's going to scramble 15. He's at the 10. Cuts back inside the 5. Mahomes rolls into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. A 14-yard scramble for a touchdown. He's one of a kind. He really is. We've seen him beat so many teams. He took advantage of every mistake the Titans made on that drive. Talk about headaches and giving headaches. Mike Grable has to have a headache from Patrick Mahomes and his scrambling ability downfield. And guess who he shook to get into the end zone? The guy that was talking trash, Jeffrey Simmons. Outstanding job by Patrick Mahomes. Chiefs will go for two to try to tie it. Mahomes holding it. 
Now he's going to sprint for the far side at the pylon. Did he get in? And they give it to him for a two-point scramble at the far front pylon. It's Mahomes running the ball to tie the game. What a play of improv. Patrick Mahomes showing guts, determination. He'll take it on himself. This has been one of those ugly nights tonight for this Chiefs offense. And yet, just like he told us, when it gets ugly, when it gets grimy, we have to figure out a way to make it work. And he has. But now the clock runs out, ending the regulation period at a 17 17 tie. And we will go to overtime. This is just fantastic. Glad we all came for a nice, peaceful Sunday night. What? So I'm glad we're all here for a nice, peaceful <laughs> Sunday night. It's my big game right here, ain't it? Like this, we're going to we're gonna get it and we're going to accept it. Okay, gentlemen. I love it when great teams get together, completely different styles. Both teams came out ready to fight tonight, and it has been fantastic. Well, tails again. Tails, tails. Come on. Yeah. We're going to accept it. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Let's go win this game. Sunday, Sunday, set. Mahomes under pressure. Steps up, fires it late, right side. It's caught at the 40-yard line and up to the 45-yard line. A tough catch by Kelsey. It's a 20-yard pickup. A rollout to the right by Mahomes on third down and one. In trouble. Cuts it back left. Now fires it down the center of the field. It's caught by Noah Gray. Third and 10 here. Mahomes backing up, stepping up, on the run, puts on the brakes, and throws incomplete. Now they're going to have to bring out Butker for the field goal. 4.07 left. This is a 28-yard attempt to try to give the Chiefs the lead in overtime. And the kick is good. The Chiefs have a 20-17 lead. If they hold the Titans on this drive, they'll win the game. Oh, gosh. Okay. Only seven carries for 22 yards in the second half for Henry. Titans must have at least a field goal to tie. A touchdown would win it for Tennessee. They give it to Henry, and the Chiefs squeeze him shut. A gain of two yards on a right side lead. Love how Carlos Dunlap is stepping up. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Second and nine. Can he escape? No, he goes down. Back at the 14-yard line. Saunders got there. The sacking back at the 14-yard line. A loss of 12 yards. Call it Saunders. The biggest play of his career yet. I've never seen a big guy move that fast. What a play. Third down. 21 for the Titans at their own 14. Oh, the rookie with a big strong arm now looking, he's spinning away, trying to stay free, moving left. Now Dunlap chasing him, and the Chiefs will sack Willis back at the eight yard line. Coverage sack on the back end, you just got four rushers and a spy in the middle of the field that's just reading the eyes of Malik Willis. Not a receiver having any kind of cushion, just under duress, can't see. Fourth and 26, football at the Titans nine. 20 to 17 Chiefs, 2.13 left in overtime. The Titans must have 27 yards here. Willis throws it near side, it's broken up! It's broken up! It's broken up! And the Kansas City Chiefs have rallied to beat the Tennessee Titans in overtime, 20 to 17. That was crazy. What? Oh. <laughs> 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 
up. We stepped up on that second half. How many points? Zero points second half. Zero points. Zero points. The ref ain't looking. 77 is out of control. Yes, sir. Always. Hey, every win in this league is a great win. In defense, you put the hammer down. Yeah. Tough thing to do coming off a bye with a team that had five wins. I don't care who the quarterback or whatever. It doesn't matter. Not in this league. Right? It doesn't matter in this league. How about those cheese? Yeah. Hey, all around, way to battle. Yeah. Defense keeping us in the game. Offense, when it counts, we did it. Now let's get better. Let's get better. We got a big one next week. Let's keep it rolling. Mm -hmm. Let's go cheese. All three. One, two, three. Cheese. Cheese. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, that game was too stressful to be a regular season game. First half, we couldn't figure it out. It took us some time. Um, second half, we played a lot better though. I needed a nap mid-game, I'll tell you that. It was actually fast. No, there was too many flags. No, it was not it was. fast. The first quarter was only two possessions. At least we get to win. Huh? At least we got to win. I uh, know. Scary for a second. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, I can't wait to get into bed. <laughs>